Greetings! I have a three monitor setup as you can see and you will have seen in some of my other videos and I've had it for quite a while now, I've had it since before I got this Mac Pro, I used to run my ARX 570 in an old i3 based system and I love it because, well, when you're visually impaired, if you want to be able to see much of anything then you probably want something full screen or half the screen or thereabouts and if you have three screens then you can run three things in full screen which means you can just see them better, it's just easier, it's much easier to define the borders of an actual screen than it is the fake borders of an application on the screen, or at least that's how I see it. But, if you come over to, let's see, we'll go into system, system preferences, displays, this is the displays preferences panel in Marte, and most other desktops have something very similar to this, and this is not accessible, it's somewhat accessible, you can change resolutions, but you can't select which monitor you're configuring and you certainly can't reorder them. And that's true not only in Linux, but in even Mac OS, which I was surprised at, and Windows as well. Unless you're using a mouse and you're using what limited site you have, you can't reorganize this. But this is Linux. This is the realm of the terminal. And boy oh boy is it helpful here. So, there is a command called xrander. And if you run it, it gives you a load of information about all your screens. Now, I should point out here that bit of X terminology, they call the actual screens displays, and they call the screen the canvas that all of your displays are working on. So screen zero, I only have one X screen, is taken up by these three monitors and is a big canvas that these monitors then look onto a section of. X, R, and R stands for X, rotate, and reflect, or something like that, I believe. Um, but it does a heck of a lot of things. Now then, what I've done with it, if I just open a file here, you will see that there are a couple commands in here. You'll notice there's one for each display. If you run, it will give you the name of your three displays. And then what you can do is you can run commands like this Terminal. and you can configure them. And this is really nice because you can just say, I want display that on HDMI 1 to be the primary display. I want it to be left of DVI 1 and I want it to be right of HDMI 2. I know that's not what they're actually called. I think it's zero indexed, but whatever. And it will do it for you, and then you can set up the other ones as well. And also, this TV, so this middle TV that I use as my primary display is a Panasonic Vieira 32 inch. It's a nice, it's a decent display. The problem with it is, is it tends to default to 720p. Uh, when you install an operating system, it tends to think that it's 720p, but they will let you choose 1080p. So if you look, I have put dash dash mode 1920 by 1080 which tells it to go into that resolution. And that fixes the 720p issue, so it actually runs at 1080p. It's fully 1080p capable, I don't really know why it does it. And, really that's how I've done it. Now you may notice the name of this file. .x profile, line three, five, six. .x profile. That is run on most systems, but not on all, and I've had experience with this. As soon as you log into your X session. On Ubuntu Marty here, you don't have to set anything up. Anything you put in .x profile, in your home folder, it will just run. So I've just made a bash script, I've made it executable, but I don't even think you have to, I think I've just, I've just done that so that I can quite easily run it if it like wakes up from the sleep or something and the displays are all over the place, which they haven't been yet, but you know. And it will just run it automatically. However, there are a number of desktops and other things that won't run this file. For example, elementary OS, unless I'm running into a bug or I'm being incompetent in some manner, and that's totally feasible, will, will not run this file unless you put it in your startup items, which is what you should just do, because then that fixes the problem. Almost any Linux desktop will have a startup applications thing. In Marte, if you're in a different distribution, if you're in Arch or something, I can view. if you go to Applicate system, system administration, preferences, preferences, personal, personal, personal meet, startup applications, startup applications I... you should be able to modify it from in here. So, that is it. I will put this script as a link in the description, probably as a gist or something, or a snippet on GitLab, I don't know and you can pull it down. Obviously, you'll have to adjust the names of these displays so that they actually match yours, and you may have to change a load of the settings, but this is the general idea of what you do. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If you disliked it, 
dislike it, I want to know why, leave it in the comments. You can subscribe to see this stuff very often on your homepage, and I will see you next time. Peace.